Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I came up with a very interesting scenario on the power query, which is a like a mix of a real time scenario with uh, the business cases. Right. So here uh, I just modified a little bit, but the things, the function which you'll use here, all will be helpful on your uh, use cases when you are working on the power query. Okay, let's get started. So the thing is, I have three tables here. Okay, so basically. So I have a basically first table I have here in this case, which is nothing but my source table, okay, where I have the posts, my date, and the number of end posts is there, three columns. The first thing I want to do is that, suppose let's take in a table, we have a 10 different or 15 different columns. Dynamically, I want to remove certain columns, okay. So that information we have in my header tables. So in the header table, I have the course and the number of enrolled. This is the two columns I want only. I don't want my data. So just think like that, you have a 50 columns, and out of that only you require 10 columns only, okay? So before writing this code, suppose let's take these three columns I have, and I want only this column, and control this, this column. These two columns I want, I don't want this column. So if I right click on this, and I say remove other columns, right? So there is a function going on that is table dot select column. So this is your starting point. Okay. And if you see this, this is your table and you are passing on two column, which are column you want to keep it and which other you want to delete it. So instead of that, suppose this is a list, right? And in my already in the header tables, I have already a list with the list of columns, which I want to keep it. Let's pass that information to the select column so header tables header tables header column so how you can do it instead of uh, writing this if i say headers this is my table and i say headers column okay then if you select it let I remove it same thing it will work out okay so it will be like now it will be more dynamic that whatever the headers column i have included all the things will be selected this is the first way to filter your headers and or i can say uh, the column which you want we can keep it and whether you want to delete it the first scenario second scenario let me remove this okay the second scenario is dynamically rename the columns so when i'm loading the course your date, the number of enrolled, I want to just rename it. So course become subject, date become enrolled date, number of enrolled should be total enrolled. And that should be dynamic. Okay. So the starting point for this will be, so suppose I want to change this to something like course name. Let's say I will double click on this, say course name. This is a rename we are doing, right? So what is the function you are doing here? Table dot rename columns. And inside that, if you see, there is two list, exactly, right? Two list. So one is outside the list, and second is inside the list here, exactly. So here, and we are saying that this is your before, and this is your after. So before it was course, and now it is course name. The same theory will apply from here. So this is my before column, and this is my after column. Let's see. And we want to create a list. So it will be a list of everything. So for that, I will use a very important function in, in mQuery that is called list.jip. So the list.jip will return a list of list by combining item at the same position in multiple lists. So it means that if I take the rename of my before so this would be the rename of before okay then i will say comma rename of after so this will be my list of it will create a list and if you enter it it will three and still throw an error because the outside list is created through the list.jip but the inner one, I want to create a list. 
so I will put it inside your value classes this too. Then it should work now. Now you see automatically my rename happened automatically whatever this thing. course become subject, date become enroll date, number of patron become total enroll date. Right? So these are the two ways we can filter the headers and even dynamically rename the columns in our query. This two formula will definitely help you in so many scenarios. Okay, and I will put this code into the uh, description of this video or the comment section of this video so that you can try it out. And even I will put this file to my Google Drive so that you can download it and start using this. Thanks for watching and have a nice day, guys.